first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Sacramento has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. They've got D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Reeves in at the two guard. That's the Laker five. Stolen by Vanderbilt. And it's James with the jam. Getting inside positioning is what he wants. Like once that man gets in there and gets moving, oh, he's going to finish that dunk. Now here's Fox. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And a quick look at how the Sacramento Kings schedule is shaping up. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard. And then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Sabonis, so he's checked in for Monk. Outside Russell. Pass to James. Double team on James. Russell from outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got four assists in the game. Fox the pass to Murray. To the paint. Here's shake and bake. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the three-point shot is so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Davis, the pass to Russell. Inside, Vanderbilt, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three for the floor. Jared Vanderbilt, one shot. And that one misses. Sabonis is a dominant interior scorer. He's got the touch, the strength, and a wide array of post moves to work with. Pass to Murray. To the left wing. Throws it up high. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. You know, for Sabonis, we've seen more teams try and double him when he gets near the hoop, Richard. Yeah, but the problem with that is that he is an excellent passer and decision maker. He knows how to find the open man and make the defense pay for sending that double. And look at for Vanderbilt. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's shake and bake. He's got 24. Clock at six. Here's Jaquez. Check by James. Jaquez, no good. And he lobs it up to the rim. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Box the pass to Murray. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Murray's gotten four this quarter. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. Here's James. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. The Kings have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to shake and bake. And here's Sabonis. Checked by Davis. Here's Shake and Bake. Fox outside. Clock at four. Over Vanderbilt. And it's Fox missing. 
The Lakers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Russell, the pass to James. Here's Shake and Bake, guarded by Russell. Here's Shake and Bake. Soft touch off the glass. 26 points for him. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Russell against Fox. James, right side. Count it. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. The Kings have gone 4 of 6 from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Sabonis. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. Zellers checked in for Los Angeles. The Kings also with a sub. Turner's checked in. One shot. The unique skill set Sabonis possesses is really outstanding. This man is a versatile scorer, a talented rebounder, and is an exceptional passer also. Now, here is James. He's got 18. Yep, count it. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Sabonis outside. To the middle. Paquez, that's good. Give him eight. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. It's James on the wing. Out left to the wing. Here's Reeves. Seven points in the game. Just five to shoot. Zeller, the pass to Davis. Another shot. Good. Davis has got 19 points. He can dominate, beat you up in so many ways, and Davis is giving that D. Oh, he, he's giving them problems tonight. To the wing on the left. To the inside. Fox, that's good. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Russell. And, yep, it's good. Russell's got five points now in the quarter. A great touch by D'Angelo. Float game on full display. Turner in the high post. Davis on him. Turner passes to Fox. Up and over Russell. And there's Fox on the assist by Turner. Turner's got his fourth assist in this one. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until something stops. And the perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Here's shake and bake. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And the Lakers with some changes. Hachimura comes in for Davis. And Harris is subbed in for Reeves. Herders checked in for Sacramento. Colin Sexton comes in for Fox. One shot. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Russell against Sexton. And Turner with the block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. And he drives in. And that one's good. Shake and bake. He's got 31. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Thank you.
Gentlemen. Okay, let's fire up the 2K leaderboard. Last year, you really had to protect the ball against these teams. The fourth spot held by the Lakers. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Russell to pass to Zeller. Back to Russell. Softly drops in the floater. Russell's got 16 points now. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Down low. Here's Sexton. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Russell from deep. That one doesn't drop. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Floats one. Sexton, the open look. No good. A bit long that time. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Russell from outside. Another miss by Russell. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. For most one-and-done players, it takes a couple of years to get going. Not the case for Con Sexton, averaging 21 points per game during his second year. Colin Sexton, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And why is it, RJ, that Colin Sexton hit the ground running as a pro? Yeah, I think it's his mindset. Colin Sexton, he has zero fear. His game is translated well from college. Sexton is explosive and thrives in more of an open style. Olenek's checked in for the Lakers. Ross comes in for Russell. Mitchell's checked in for Sacramento. And he sinks the second. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. It's Ross on the wing. Oh, and Turner with a block. Now Mitchell. Ten points for him. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on-the-ball defenders out there. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw is good for Mitchell. And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing... Davion never takes a possession off. Now, here is James. 23 points in the game. And he drops it in from the low post. James has got 13 points in this quarter. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Chicken bakes. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. That's this quarter has been ball. all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Oh, so the Kings making a change here. Murray's Number checked in. At the line for one. One shot. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Well, the Lakers shooting 55% for the game so far. Outside Ross. Back to James. Here's Shake and Bake. He's got 34. The quick look, no good that time. Hachimura with the ball. Picked up by Sexton. Here's Harris. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And you have to love the focus. He gets hit, 
but converts it anyway. Moutier, he's checked in for LeBron. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. And Harris no good on that one. Sacramento has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Mitchell, and he drains the quick shot. Mitchell's got 15. He's lighting him up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Outside Ross. Uses the glass on the layup. Nine points in the game. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Pass to Sexton. To the paint. Here's Mitchell. Oh, he's on fire. Eight for eight and just looking relentless. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Outside Ross. Two minutes remaining in the third. Got it. Good job in the low post. Very raw. A minute 53 left in the third. Mitchell, the pass to Turner. To the inside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Terrence Ross. Almost converts despite the contact. At the line for the Kings. Malik Mock. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. And so he hits both. 146 left in the third quarter. Pass to Ross. The kick to Olenek. Three pointer. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board Richard seems a lot Ball. larger than it is. Rui Man, good whistle there. His third personal foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Malik Mock at the line for two. Shooting two. down the first one he makes one or two that time well, the Lakers shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. Harris passes to Ross. Over Murray. And the Lakers tack on two more. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Mitchell, just outstanding. He hits again, and he's still a perfect nine for nine. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Monk against Ross. He takes it in, and he gets that one. Ross has got 15. 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Inside. 
Turner passes to Mitchell. And that one drops Adrian for him. Mitchell. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Outside Ross. 17 seconds left in the third. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Terrence Ross. Two shots. The first free throw is good. The Lakers making a switch here. And he makes both free throws. Now here's Monk. Good D by Vanderbilt. Outstanding work to see the way to sniff that one out. And so it's the Sacramento Kings firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And for the Lakers, they're shooting a fantastic 57%. Taking a look at Sacramento. Kevin Herter out there with Davion Mitchell. Then it's Danilo Gallinari. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Keita in at the five. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Here's Christie. Outside Ross. Over Mitchell. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on. you got to make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. This is what you expect from him. Just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management, if you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. And the advantage he has is clear. Just taking what the defense gives him right there. It's Ross on the wing. Oh, they can't stop the run with that one. For Sacramento, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. And Mitchell with the slam. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Now here's Ross. Shoots over Monk. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Ross has got 12 points here in the second half. Pass to Monk. Outside, Gallinari. 
Monk against Ross. And it's Monk off the drive. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Ooh, a clear look for Ross. Mitchell grabs a miss. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Mitchell's got nine points in the quarter. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Pass to Ross. Well, it's the reality of the NBA, RJ, but fans do seem to be paying closer attention, maybe more than ever, to players' off-court actions. What's your take on that? Well, I truly believe that players are so focused not only on their games, but how they can now improve the lives of people around them and in their community. They are leaders in their community and they are advocates. And it's because they have huge platforms that will allow them to make a difference. The Lakers with the ball after the Kings picked up a basket a moment ago. Sacramento foul. And the Lakers making a change here. Moutier's checked in. And the Kings also making a change. Jackson, he's checked in for Mitchell. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And so it's the Lakers with it. Zeller with the ball. Pass to Moutier. Four on the clock. Over Jackson. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Lakers ball. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That sends Gary Harris to the free throw line. Blake Monk picks one up. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. At just about 85% from the line tonight, they've looked more and more comfortable as the game's gone on. For the Kings, Kevin Herter, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, the NBA has gotten tougher on flagrant fouls, but you see instances where guys get hurt. They miss a lot of time, and yet there's only a one-game penalty for the fouler. Something to look at, you think, RJ, or no? Well, if the flagrant results in games made, then maybe the fouler should miss more games. The only problem with that is you can see players starting to embellish on their injury in order to make sure that other people get suspended. That's how petty our league is. At the line for Los Angeles, Cody Zeller. At the line for two.
Two shots. Relax on the first. That free throw misses. He hits the second from the line. For Sacramento, they've gone 7 of 8 in this fourth quarter. Pass to Keita. Kicks it out to Jackson. Outside Herter. Here's Keita. And he banks in the layup. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. For Los Angeles, they've got 2 of 8 shots to drop in the final quarter. Christie. Grant in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. Here's Moutier. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Nice execution on the inbound. Just how you want to draw it out. The Kings have gone 8 of 9 here in the fourth quarter. Outside Monk. Pass to Keita. To the middle. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got his first two points of the night. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's Christie. Basket's good. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Sacramento has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Pass to Gallinari. Outside Herder. Inside Jackson. Yep, that one's good. Putting the toughness on full display. Jackson's not afraid to go up strong against opponents. And Grant, a career resurgence for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, B.A., after dealing with injuries, even at one walking away from the game, he's found renewed success, and he's shown he's got plenty left in the tank. And that one falls for Jackson. And as recovery and injury prevention goes high-tech, Richard, many players are starting to wear the trackers to measure the wear and tear. Well, look, wear and tear, at the end of the day, players have more things to their access. doesn't matter if you're talking about medical equipment, treatment, uh, doctors, trainers. So there's going to be wear and tear because that's professional sports, but more stuff today are, have been instituted to help the players recover faster. And hopefully prolong their careers if they're good enough. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Well, the Lakers shooting 55% for the game so far. Pass to Christie. Here's the floater. And down it goes. Two points. And here's Jackson. Outside Gallinari. To the inside. Here's Monk. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Olenek checked in for Los Angeles. Malik Monk at the line for one. One shot. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. Pass to Christie. 
You know, RJ, we've seen it for years. The final minute of the game can take up to 20 minutes of real time or sometimes longer. You think that's something the league needs to look at? Well, the league wants to look at that, but you also have to make sure that you keep the integrity of the game. If there is strategy that you can use, whether it's taking a foul or calling a timeout, you try and use it. So the league has to make sure that they find that delicate balance of flow, but also allowing people to use the rules. Here's Moutier following the score by Sacramento. Outside Olenek. Let's it fly. That shot, no good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Jackson, the pass to Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Here's Christie. Pass to Kleba. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Kleba's gotten his first basket of the night. I just love when teams make it work down low. Here's Keita. Outside Gallinari. Now Herder. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Christie. And the rise of the internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams, Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different platforms. You know, I think broadcasters need, I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I know we can't afford you, though. <laughs> that might be true. And so it's the Lakers with it. Following the score by Sacramento. Outside Olenek from the arc. Keita pulls it in. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Herter passes to Jackson. Outside Gallinari. Down low. Jackson gets the bucket. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. Here's Moutier. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. Way too many empty possessions for them. And it's going to be a three-second call. Be three. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, they don't have That's time to dwell on that. Court. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Ross, he's checked in for Harris. The Kings also with a sub. Sexton's checked in for Herder. Now here's Sexton. Here's Keita. Pass to Monk. Gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Ross. And the NBA always tinkering with the rule book, Richard. Any rules you'd like to see changed? The, uh, the Richard Jefferson effect? No, hold on. I, a lot of people ask me about the four-point shot, and I just tell them, do you see where Steph and Clay and Damian Lillard are shooting from now? Where are you going to put a four-point shot? All we're going to do is reward those guys for a skill that they already have. And I think sometimes you also have to look at the impact that it will have on the game of basketball. If you just have kids trying to shoot these shots or trying to see where they can come from, then you have no idea what it will do to their skill impact. So I don't think that that would be a good thing for the game of basketball. Now here's Ross. Here's Christie. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Kings. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year.
Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Shake and Bake. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. The Lakers shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. Out to Achimura. Pass to Ross. Here's Christie. Just five on the clock. That shot off. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Jackson, the pass to Sexton. To the paint. That's good from Jackson on the assist from Gallinari. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. Nice that shot by Christie. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Up top, Jackson. He's checked by Kleba. Now here's Jackson. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. That's to walk into game. enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, Thank that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with DeMontis. DeMontis, a great team win against a quality opponent, too. What does this say about how you're playing? It's great for us, building our confidence as a team. Um, sticking together, I feel like we play better consistently, so um, it's, it's good for us. Confidence, extremely important. Thanks, DeMontis. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone.